I'm Alex. Wow, you're even more handsome in real life. And tall. Please let me help. Oh, I'm okay. Thank you. So, what's up, Big Daddy? Oh, please don't call me that. <laughs> Why? I mean, I thought that's what you liked. What do you want me to call you then? Ron, Ron will do. Okay, Ronnie. Hello, what can I get for you? Coffee for me, please. Coffee? Fine, I'll have a coffee too. Listen, um, the only reason I actually agreed to go on this date was because I thought if I was your dad, I'd, I'd want someone to talk to you. Um, <clears throat> the fact that we got somehow matched up is... If you were my dad, I don't think you want to talk to me. Oh boy. What I mean is, you're a young, beautiful woman, and I think you're under the mistaken idea that uh, a stronger, barrel-aged perfection kind of figure like myself would bring you what you need out of life. Oh, thank you, Ron. Well, you're a young, beautiful man yourself. You're not listening to me. I want to know why are you wasting your time with old schmucks? Is it for the money? I mean... There are plenty of young guys out there who will give you what you need out of life. <laughs> Wait, are you here to lecture me about looking for older guys? Uh, I wouldn't say lecture. <laughs> well, I do appreciate the sentiment, but you know, young guys can be real assholes. So your whole point about old schmucks is really a moot point. But since we're coming clean here, this whole thing here, it really isn't me. I mean, this whole persona is really just to fish out some old schmucks so I can have a little fun with them. You mean... I mean, a girl gets her kicks where she can, right? This whole dating game has become so ridiculous that, you know, I figured, well, my sister figured that I should have a little fun with it. And I've quite enjoyed it so far. And for the most part, you really can find everything out there. So you were never going to... Kiss you? Go home with you? Oh, oh God. <laughs> no, none of that. What's really interesting is you're the first date that's actually come with an ulterior motive as well. Well, I'm relieved to hear it. Well, cheers to that. With coffee? Yeah, sure. So what was your plan of action? And why are you so bitter? I don't really have a plan. Well, I don't have one plan. It really just depends on what they're like and what inspiration I come up with. And I'm not bitter. Why would you say that? Well, you're looking to trick people instead of looking for significant other. It sounds to me like if you were coffee, you'd be on the bitter side. <laughs> no, it's just, I don't know, just a different way of meeting people, I guess. Uh, ever get into trouble? Not yet. Knock on wood. <laughs> Have you been doing this long? Believe it or not, I haven't dated since I was a teenager. You're gonna laugh, but I married my high school sweetheart. What a hoot. I did too. <laughs> and we got divorced two years later, since he left me for my best friend. We're quite the pair. Same thing happened to me. My wife got swept off her feet by her salsa dancing partner, even though he was five years older than I was. One day she handed me my bags and said, Ron? You need to take these things and move into your own place. And take the goddamn yo-yos with you. Yo-yos? Please tell me you're a toy maker. One has to have fun where one can. Don't judge me. <laughs> so, you must have had lots of ups and downs? Shouldn't I be making the dad jokes? <laughs> you know, I do need to come to your level. <laughs> what about you? Do you often go on dates just to give lectures? Actually, this is my first time. I just joined the, la the app and um, I thought I'd try to meet somebody more appropriate, but uh, nothing so far. None of the ladies I sent letters to responded. Letters? Uh, you know, a uh, message, uh, yeah, a thing. You know, what, what do you call it, the, the thing you send them? <laughs> Messages, right. For a moment, I thought you actually send them physical letters. I was going to say how creepy that is. Why wouldn't ladies my age like to receive an old-fashioned paper letter? Because you would have somehow gotten their address. Oh, right. Of course. <laughs> Let me guess. So your daughter from your dissolved marriage set you up on these dating apps. 
Wait, better yet, your sibling. My daughter. Right. You don't really look like the dating app kind of guy, though. You'd be right. <laughs> so I'm your first? Oh, God. <laughs> Please don't say that. <laughs> I'm just curious. I mean, are you actually intending to go on a date? I can help you out. I'm getting really good at this. I find that hard to believe. I'm looking for somebody who's honest and committed and you're none of that. <laughs> Believe what you will, but at least on the technical side of things, I can still set you up. My sister thinks that I don't know how to use these apps, but I know a trick or two. What your problem is, you're on the wrong app. Give me your phone. What? No. <laughs> Fine, but you really should be on an older app. There's one specifically for older people? There's one specifically for everything you can think of. Anyway, since this gig is up, I'm gonna have to go. But one piece of advice though, if you see words on the app that you don't understand, <laughs> they probably are too young for you. Very funny, Alex. <laughs> advice from me to you, um, be careful in this game you're playing and who you toy with. At least I don't play with yo-yos. <laughs>